Hi, this is Tracy with Beyond 20, and today we are going to look at ServiceNow's visual task boards. So in this filter navigator, we search for visual task boards under self-service. We should see them if you have the right permissions. Um, I have been messing around a bit, so I do have a few boards in here, but this is an out-of-the-box system. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go to new. Um, we also, you can see there's all boards, boards you own, and boards you belong to. So when I click on new, I have the choice of doing a freeform board or a data-driven board. Freeform will just kind of create a very basic board and a data-driven one will do so based on your criteria. So let's go ahead and do a data-driven board first. It's gonna ask us for our task table. So for this one, I want to see incidents. Select the vertical lane. I'm gonna choose the state. And then as an optional one, I can also choose swim lane field. Uh, I am gonna do that here. I'm going to choose the assignment group. Click next. I can add a filter here. So I'm gonna add one that the state is not one of uh, closed, canceled, or resolved. Typically if it's in one of those states, it's gonna be already done with and so I don't necessarily want to see them at least not for this example. I can add additional criteria here by clicking the and or the or um, and then all I have to do is click create. So here's where we can see we've got the state up here if we scroll down here, we can see the swim lanes. Uh, these ones are assigned to uh, open space, hardware, software, etc. And then these ones up here uh, don't have an assignment group. Now, one of the nice things with this is I can quickly see uh, right away uh, some things. So these are new, uh, they're unassigned. Uh, the in progress ones, some of these have some assignment people. Um, and if I know that maybe someone is working on this, I can just drag this over here to in progress. And if I go to the actual ticket itself, we can see that that state is now in progress. So it is real time affecting the state of the ticket, which is pretty cool, can be pretty helpful. I'm gonna go directly to that ticket here now, just to show you it's not just in the visual task board. Once again, the state's in progress. And we can see that the system administrator changed the state. It was new, it is now in progress. So there are some very powerful things you can do with visual task boards and just some easy manipulation uh, using that data-driven visual task board. So if you wanted to create something more freeform, you certainly can. And if we do that, let's go ahead and create one. By default, it's going to add a to-do, doing, and done swim lane. Uh, you can add additional lanes here. There is their vertical lanes. And as well, you can add your own cards here. So to-do, make this video. And I'm currently doing that. And what you may see is this might be fairly familiar. Uh, this has similar functionality to um, Microsoft's Planner, um, Jira also has something very similar. Um, there are many tools that have things that are pretty similar to this, but it just makes things kind of uh, kind of a lot easier, especially if you're, like I said, if you're working on the data-driven or if you want to make like your own checklist of here's my to-do list for the day, for the week, for the month. Uh, these are what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Um, maybe you add, maybe this lane four is blocked. And my task is, uh, I don't know, this task is blocked. I can move that over here. And just a very easy way to kind of see things. 
Um, you can also share these with different individuals. So just because you create this doesn't mean that um, you're the only one that can see it. You can add users by adding the members. And then they'll be able to see this as well. You can also add your very own labels to this. You could do this as like user stories, if this is a request, an idea, a feature, if it's high priority, if it's a defect, those kind of items. So there's really quite a bit you can do with this. Uh, this I said, like I said before, it's just a brief overview on, on how they work, what you can do, uh, but it can be, it's a very powerful tool within ServiceNow uh, that does come out of the box. Thanks and have a great day.